Hey, I'm Jim. I'm from the Application Research Group at Protocol Labs, and I'm here to talk about Estuary. Estuary is our way to send a lot of data over to the Filecoin network so it can be retrieved for public good. In this video, you're going to learn how to get an API key, how to view your documentation and user documentation, and how to send public data that you believe should be accessed for public good. So let's get started. Hey, so looking at our documentation, uh, there is a tutorial on the far left and it starts with get API access. And so this video, I'm gonna walk through pretty much every single step of our tutorial. And uh, as if you hadn't even had a chance to look at our tutorial yet, and maybe there's too many words here and it's really confusing, uh, don't worry, you can just watch this video and uh, I will walk through everything step by step. So we're gonna go through getting an API key, we're going to sign to SGRA, all these things. We're gonna upload data, um, and then we're also gonna list our data. So you'll probably arrive on our website uh, from the internet and there'll be two buttons here that you can click on. So learn more will take you to our documentation that you can play with. And so you can change any of these values. Here I am live editing. But to uh, do more advanced things, you need an API key. To get an API key, you must create an account. To create an account, you must have an invite. So to get an invite, you have to click on get access. And the reason why you need to click on get access to get an invite is because if you click on sign up, uh, there'll be an invite code that's required that you must fill out an invite code here to create an account. And this is our, the best way that we have to guarantee public data is added to Filecoin and public data of a certain quality. So um, when you see this uh, form, enter your name, enter your email, enter your Twitter, and this is for if you wanna engage in DMs or talk more about Estuary, and go into detail about your data. Um, I left a few notes here, so make sure you read them. Uh, for example, if you want to use Estuary for private data, make sure you encrypt it first. We're not responsible for encryption. After you're done, uh, click Submit. And uh, after you click Submit, uh, we will get back to you pretty shortly, hopefully within one to two days. So after you get an invite key from someone, uh, you can enter that invite key URL up here and you'll see that the invite code is right here, or single use, and I'm gonna create an account, so I'll just do not gym 888 and I'll do a password. Um, I'm not gonna use a strong password, just come up with something simple, and I'm gonna type in uh, sign up, and I'm gonna do not now, and cool. So now I'm in Estuary. Um, I can just use this GUI to upload a file if I want to, but this demo is about using the API key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here click on API keys, and I'm going to create a key, and that's it. Clicked on create a key, and now I have an API key. I can also revoke it by clicking this, and no one can use that key anymore, but I'll just create another key if I want to, and yep. So with this API key, I'm gonna show you what you can do next. Hey, so next I wanna show you our documentation. So it's really easy to reach our documentation. Um, it's right here in the top right corner. You click documentation and you'll see our docs. And one really cool thing about documentation is that you can edit the code in the browser. So right here, I can play with this endpoint. I can delete the S and it's not found. I can change it. And so it's really dynamic. And with an API key, you can actually use our documentation uh, to use your Estuary account. You don't even have to log into Estuary. You can just go here and, for example, I'll go to list data and list data doesn't work unless you provide a token. So I'll, I'll um, paste my API key and ta-da, all of my data is right here. And so what I can do is I can also use the API to upload a file. So I'll click on add data and I'll go here and it says right here, replace me with API key. I will paste my API key here and then I will also click on choose file and let's pick a cool nature video. So I like this one, this one looks cool. Um, and I'll click upload and I wrote some really hacky JS here to show uploading without a progress bar. I'm sorry, there's no progress bar. Uh, and after that, you can go back to list data and you can replace this API key with your API key and you can see that data has been uploaded. And so what's really cool is that you can pretty much use all of Estuary's website features through the API. And so there's a lot of really cool stuff here that can help you, you know, build an application that stores data 
or um, you know just kind of plug it into your command line or GitHub Actions. So yeah, hope that's useful. Yeah, and so now that you've played with it in our documentation, uh, you can actually run up a quick website and play with it in your own code and it should just work fine. So uh, I'm gonna actually clone a repo I use for testing and I'm going to cd into that repo and I'm going to do an npm install and this takes a little bit of time. And I'm gonna do an npm run dev and I can view this page in my browser, localhost 385. Um, and it's an example starting project. There's like almost no code here. And I'm gonna go back to this. And so I have my documentation, I have this website up and I'm gonna open a page in my, um, my IDE. And I'm gonna go to this. Sorry, moving things around, doing it live. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna open, and I'm gonna go into uh, development, and I'm gonna open up this folder. Cool, so I have the project folder, and I have this page, and I have this index, so let's test that this just works. So I'm gonna do a hello world, and I'm gonna view this page again, uh, localhost, um, 305, hello world, it works, cool. So now I have my API key, I'm just gonna keep this. This is actually bad practice, but I'm just gonna keep this as a reference here. So this is the API key that I want to use later on. And I have a React component here, um, and I have hello world, and I have our documentation. And I can just copy and paste um, this list data, and I can go here and click on fetch right here. And I can just add this to the fetch data function, replace all of this. And I'm not even going to change too much. So I'm just gonna go here and fix the tabbing. Um, I mean, actually, I don't even wanna do it this way. I can just do const response equals await fetch. And then I can do, um, uh, const json equals await response.json and I can just console log json here and if I do this um, hit save see what happens and inspect element and view the console I will get error invalid token just like documentation but then if I go here and I grab the API key and I replace this API key with this. Hit save and hit refresh. I get all of my data right here. And so that's how quick you can add to any application that uses JavaScript. And so that can be really useful if you're building an application and you wanna use Estuary as a data backend. Yeah, so after you upload your content through the API key, you can actually view it back in the S3 product. So here's a list of all your files. And then um, you can see the Filecoin deals that are happening uh, for those files. So here you can see that there are um, five deals that made it on chain that are active. They all have Filecoin deal receipts. So they show how long they're on the chain for. So this one is on chain till June 28th. 2022, and s will renew um, this deal uh, if there's Filecoin available in this s Notes account. So that's up, up to the network operator. Like, we are network operators for everyone who uses s but um, if if you're using an s note from someone else, it really depends on how much Filecoin they have left. And uh, you can see right here, um, some deals haven't made it on chain, but there's a proposal receipt. So this was the this was the original proposal. And so, um, you know, there's a chance that it might end up on chain, but it might not. But s does guarantee that six deals, we will keep trying to at least six deals end up on chain. And that's really cool because every miner is located somewhere else in the world. Um, and it's kind of a way to guarantee that your data is online and that you can trust it's online. Hope that was all really useful. And if it wasn't, feel free to reach out.
whenever you'd like and ask me any questions, I'm always available. Uh, I know the concepts here are kind of new and they haven't really been done before. So if there's something that you don't understand, uh, no questions taboo. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos from the Application Research Group. Uh, we have a lot of really cool technology that we're going to be releasing soon that will help people get started with Web3 and peer-to-peer -peer distributed file system networks. Thanks for your time.